What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about what possibly could have been. We all know the story of Sony and Nintendo back in the Super Nintendo era when Sony wanted to help Nintendo and, and join with Nintendo and make the PlayStation, which was going to be a cartridge-based and CD-based system. And how that fell apart and how that ultimately led to Sony becoming the juggernaut that they are now in the video game sphere. I didn't know until fairly recently about Microsoft's original trajectory and what they were trying to do in the video game space. But it is an interesting story to say the least because it's always funny to look at where you were, where you wanted to go, and where you ended up. I'll drop a link in the description. Before Xbox, Microsoft wanted to team up with Nintendo and Sony on a console. Before Microsoft released the original Xbox way back in 2001, the tech giant actually considered forming an alliance with both Nintendo and Sony to create a gaming console. Xbox co-creator Ed Fry said that Microsoft proposed that Nintendo make the hardware for the console while Microsoft would have taken care of the software and networking. Fry said in an interview with IGN, quote, When we first started thinking about doing the Xbox, we met with Nintendo. We sat down with the late Nintendo CEO Satoru Iwata and others and we said, this is what we want to do. Could we partner? Could we work together on this? And basically they said no, end quote. After an initial rejection from Nintendo, then Microsoft CEO Bill Gates went to Sony with the same offer. Again, they were denied. Fry's also denied rumors that Microsoft was in talks to buy Nintendo, stating, quote, Actually, if anyone at Microsoft thought about buying Nintendo, I never heard of that, end quote. Microsoft isn't the only gaming company that wanted to create gaming consoles in conjunction with another company. Before the original PlayStation, Nintendo and Sony worked together on a Nintendo PlayStation console. Prototypes were even created before the two companies separated. It's just really, really funny to hear that. And Nintendo is really known, they're known at this point for some of the biggest failures in gaming. The refusal to work with Sony has been the bane of Nintendo for years. PlayStation, for the most part, has been a thorn in the side of Nintendo for like the last 20 years. It's been horrible for Nintendo for PlayStation because PlayStation came out. They were going to work with Nintendo and share that money and share all those profits. And now the PlayStation alone has saved Sony as a company. So Nintendo has to be looking at that. When you take into account that last year, the PlayStation Network alone made more money than all of Nintendo. The PSN alone made $4.5 billion last year, and Nintendo only made 4.2 as an entire company, then that has to hurt. On some level, that has to really, really hurt Nintendo. So who knows exactly how much money Nintendo has actually lost here by re refusing to work with Microsoft. Nintendo has, has just, throughout history, appeared to be extremely full of themselves. You know, there's been companies who have come to Nintendo in a very humble way, which I believe that Microsoft and Sony did. And Nintendo says, no, we're not working with you. We're Nintendo. Get the fuck out. And so Microsoft and Sony have walked away and done their own thing and come out, in my opinion, much better for it. Nintendo's got a lot to learn, man. I mean, for anyone who's the new management of Nintendo at this point, it's got to be looking back at these choices saying, man, we really, really screwed up. It's kind of a funny situation. You guys let me know what you think. Do you think there could have been an Xbox Nintendo console at some point? We already know there was a Nintendo PlayStation. I imagine that. It's a crazy world that we live in and some strange things have happened. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. If you did, give a thumbs up. Show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. And tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I will see you guys next time. Hey,